right, Michael, are you ready to deliver some pizzas? I just want some. Do you, just, you just want some pizzas? I haven't eaten most of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I had a lot of cereal and, uh-huh. and chips at work. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Hey, everybody, welcome welcome back to the dojo. Uh, here on Rachel Act, I'm Jeff. And I'm starving. Uh, apparently, <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding. I'm Mike. And we are playing Pizza Titan Ultra. Ooh. Um, is he related to Titan Maximum? I don't think so. Do you remember that show? No, I don't it know what you're old, talking uh, about. Ro- it was a show made by the guys who made Robot Chicken. Wait, hold on. It's a sing-along. Right. Oh, wow. I love when people do shit like this, though. Okay. All right. Sure. Pizza Titan. <laughs> oh, that sounds so good. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, <laughs> let's make some deliveries here. All right. So I love when people make theme songs for their games like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh. All right. Oh yeah. That's fucking <laughs> rad as shit. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Cheeseborg. <laughs> oh, I already love this game. So that's Chucky e. Chuck e. Cheese? That's Cheeseborg. Ultra Pizza rules supreme. Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, you got... You, I mean, you know, why, why use a car when you can use a giant robot to deliver pizza? Is 10 Story spelled like that, or is it just me? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so, but... Eh, you know what's <laughs> being said. Um, all right, so this... I was talking to Matt about this game, and I was like, oh. Is it Egon Spangler? No, uh, it's no, it's Tanya. Or has her but hair she totally way. has Egon's hair, yeah. Oh, it's, it's Fry, apparently. <laughs> I was busy sweeping the ceiling. Yeah, that sounds like Fry. This is all the hard work paid off. Just the pressure of watching you watch it. Actually, no, it's not like Fry. He would not have done any work. <laughs> uh, okay. And then we got Ace. New recruit is waiting. Welcome. All right, new pilots. Oh, dude, Zach is totally rad. He's radical as fuck. Uh, He's got two sunglasses. Yeah, exactly where you're in the co-pilot seat. Wait, oh yeah, yeah, he does. Okay. So what do we got in the back? We got an ultra slice. We got a two slice combo. We got an ultra pizza. Ultra pizza really expensive. Thirty dollars. <laughs> fuck me sideways. Yeah. Inflation must be a motherfucker in the uh, future. How about if we go a little faster? Grumble, grumble. Don't worry about it. You want our contest and found a golden pepperoni slice? Is that how that works? Yeah, I, I guess. I've got a golden pepperoni. Uh, pepperoni slice to try piloting the Ultra Mech. All right. That does sound pretty rad. I, I've always wanted to pilot an Ultra Mech. In I've the always head done that as well. With Krustoff and Zach. Wait, who's Krustoff? Krustoff? I, I think that's the name of Oh, there Oh, is. oh my God. This guy is crusty. Uh, okay. Look, There's so many things going scar? on. There's so many things going on in this guy's uh, costume. Okay. To run the simulation. the simulation. Don't worry about it. 10 story, 180 ton mech without practice. Maybe this is made in Europe. Yeah. Put that E on the end a ton. Put that E in the story. This is after Brexit caused the massive inflation. <laughs> That's right. But it's 18 bucks for two slices of pizza. Fuck that. Unless that slice is like the size of this table. I remember when pizza costs a very little amount of money back when I was young, (laughs) 20 years ago. Why don't things cost the same as they were 20 years ago? I wonder if at Sam's Club you can still get it for really cheap, though. I, You know what? You know what really pisses me off is that Papa Murphy's place. Oh, fuck Uh, Papa Murphy's. Okay. I applied there once, and they were like, no, you're not good enough to sell unmade pizzas. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right. So I got the left stick. All right. I got a jump button. Is there like a run button? What is the point of Papa Murphy's? I'm sorry. What is the fucking I, I, point of Papa I, I, I don't know. For anybody who doesn't know. Okay, there we go. Uh, Papa Murphy's is a place where you essentially buy, like they make a pizza, um, and then you buy it, and then you bring it home, and you cook it yourself. And I was like, oh, okay, so it'll be significantly less than uh, than buying a pizza like from Pizza Hut. And it's like, no, not really. I no, mean, it's about the same. About the same. Also, they don't deliver. Uh, whoa. Oh, shit. Ah, fuck. Oh, shit. Why are they trying to stop me? I'm just delivering pizzas in my fucking pizza Gundam over here. Minium, minions of cheese board. Charging strips and batteries restore energy. Bear, 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 bear. Okay. Boom, 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 bam, bam. L2 to use and activate turbo mode. Boom. Catch me, crabs, once I go into maximum overdrive. Leg attacks. Uh. Oh, shit. All right. Release uh R2 for a bigger stomp. Wait. 
I think you do it at the same time. Oh, okay. I got some cash out of that, and I got some time. Charging thing. All right. Is this how you get tips? You murder people? I, I don't actually know. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Swing high. There we go. Swing low. Uh, <laughs> I. This is very strange. So when I was talking to Matt about this, I was saying it's like like crazy taxi, but with pizzas, kind of, and so a giant like crazy robot. Taxi? Uh, do you deliver pizzas in Crazy you Taxi? You deliver people to Pizza Hut. Oh, okay. Well, at least s- until you know they ran into the license, you couldn't do that anymore. Re- reverse Crazy Taxi. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the shame about re-releases of Crazy Taxi is they don't have the licensing for that shit anymore. Oh yeah. So it's always like pizza place a jerk or whatever. Destroy high airborne threats. Bow 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 bow. All right. Oh, okay. All right. All right. We got gotcha. you. I like the design of this robot though. It's got this weird like cape thing going on. Yeah. It's got a big a, just a big banner on the back. <laughs> oh, five hidden ultra ingredients. Peppers. Better pizza, oh, yeah. less racist. Mushrooms. Papa John's. Uh, <laughs> your HUD tracks the ultra ingredients. Get all five for a big cash, bu- cash bonus. Okay. Where is my HUD tracking the ingredients? God damn it. Fucking yeah, I'm trying to figure out. Oh, I think, it, shit I think that's there. what it means by the HUD. Has the, it tracks how many you have currently. Oh, oh. Well, that's... You still have to find them eventually. Great. Boost pads. Oh, shit. All right. Seems like a lot of work to deliver some pizzas. Oh, evade enemy attacks. Have you ever been a pizza delivery man? I I have been a pizza delivery man. No, (laughs) it is not like this. What's your your pizza topping of choice, Mike? Uh, Pepperoni and Canadian bacon. Oh, it's double meat, huh? Yeah. You ever put any, any veggies on there? Fuck no. <laughs> no? <laughs> well, I'm, mushrooms? A picky, I'm a picky eater, though. Oh, so. uh, okay. Um, and it took years for me to start putting ham on pizza. <laughs> Ham's not a vegetable. I didn't say it was a vegetable. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was just a pepperoni man. Just straight then, pepperoni? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Also, it was cheap. Or, well, I'm getting true. more toppings, so. Yeah. Uh, and right, then also perfect. Little Caesars only gave you that half the time too. After a while, oh, well, so that's, that's true. Yeah. Okay. They can I tell you that the Little Caesars in my hometown had originally closed down because they're selling drugs out of it? No. It was a tragedy. Oh shit! Show. I gotta put. Okay. I'm putting, put stuff on this pizza, pizza, pizza. It's like the slapping beans all over again. B- bake, 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 bake. Oh, nope. Don't over bake it. Don't over bake it. There we go. Perfect. 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 Sl- oh God! Jesus. Uh, oops. Uh, <laughs> well, I did it wrong there. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, I got one of these. That pizza's all right. All fucking weird. No, nah, that's that's fine. That's a good. That one slice just has some uh, bell pepper on it. That's They're it. They're a walk-in customer. That's yeah. what that was. They walked up to my mech. They were like, "I don't want a pizza." That's actually kind of interesting. Uh, deliver. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Grr. <laughs> why does he? Why does he flex? To show that he's delivered. Brr, I delivered your pizzas. So wait, he's got like the pizza kitchen is inside of the robot. So Apparently. the whole restaurant is a bunch holes into the into I, this I building. No, they're just gently, gently reaching in and it's giving like people rampage. their pizza. Except you're not eating them; you're giving. Oh them yes, no, food. you were correct the first time. We were punching holes in the apartment. Jesus Christ! Uh, we found a new pilot. Wait, so does like the fist open and it has pizza? I don't know. It appears to just be fisting that apartment. So free delivery runs are endless racing against the clock to deliver pizza. VIP deliveries may become available later. This VIP is like a chapter in the ongoing saga. Earning cash from either lets us buy permits to deliver to new areas. Okay. And my father Enzo still helps Ace out in the garage. We can repaint the mech or invest in different parts. All right. And... No, I got all this. That's fine. That's fine. We just play the game. It's fine. Cash, fine. Get delivery stuff. I, I'm a big fan of first sto- the money, then the bitches. Story in your game, but oh, okay. No, look, that's the restaurant. Is right in the middle of the chest. Is the oh, pizza geez. restaurant? Okay, so it's got free free pizza fi. Yeah, or pie fi. I think is what it said. Yeah, that's interesting. It's it's Wi Fi, but you can only use it to go to Domino's website. Why uh, Domino's specifically though? Okay, choose your ultra <laughs> move. Chest laser, shield, gravity drive. Why? I, I still. Out of all the expositions they've done, why? Who's trying to stop us? Uh, I think the cheese board. Okay. That's my thought process. All right. Have you been to a Chuck E. Cheese's in a while? Fuck no. I'm 40 they years taste, old, man. They taste horrible. Why would I go to Chuck E. Cheese? I don't even go to Dave and Buster's. Which you don't is go to Dave and Buster's? Fuck no. Where else can you get a classy steak in an arcade setting? <laughs> 
in my house, right next to the TV that's playing this right it's now. Not really, an arcade setting. It's though. an arcade. It setting. It doesn't have a whole lot of like arcade. It doesn't. It doesn't have a lot of old ass games that nobody really wants to pay money when you can just be at home playing on your PlayStation or your phone or your computer or literally every piece of electronics these days. You can't get any of the. You can't get Sunset Riders legally anywhere though. You had to you had to put one modify word in there that yes that is yes, correct. Yes, I had to say legally at the yes, end of that because yes. I realized midway through that you can totally or play or Sunset you could Riders. just order a pizza and then just download Sunset Riders. You Sorry. wouldn't download a car, would you? I, I totally would. I would download, download a car. A car. <laughs> I totally download a car. I always think of the Boondocks. You remember the one they had that one? It's like it's like murder and it's oh, like yeah. beating that lady to death. Yep. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, it's for realsies time. All right, let's get some of this cashola. Let's go deliver a pizza. Da, 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 da. You gotta collect the money, bro. <laughs> I don't need the money. I'm just doing the thing. You're, you're, that's to pay the company, not not to pay you, apparently. Da, 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 da. Oops. Oh, Fuck. sorry about that. <laughs> uh, no, uh, good. Uh, that's all right. Uh, sorry. Here we go. <laughs> deliver the pizza. All right. Let's get some more time. Oh, shit. I only have a minute. Oh, yeah. is this like crazy taxi? C -c -c crazy taxi. Uh, Here we go. It doesn't have enough offspring, though, is my only issue with that. I there's think not crazy really. Taxi doesn't have enough offspring nowadays. I, yeah, I, I don't think anything has enough offspring. Like, there's always room for more of the offspring. Absolutely. Uh, okay, I'm a big fan of them, though. So. I still listen to them when I speed down the highway. Have you ever delivered pizzas? I did not. Oh, man, it's great. Well, I had uh, a friend do that, and he got robbed a couple times. Yeah, I, I never actually. Wait, he got robbed like while he was delivering the pizza. Yeah, like that happens wait. a lot in San Marcos, apparently. How how did wait? Explain explain the robbery to me. What happened? He went so, to deliver it at uh -huh. an address, and it turns out it was not a real person's address. Uh -huh. And then somebody held him up again. Well, that's I mean, if you deliver to a parking lot, like a lot of times, that's not going to be. It was just an apartment complex. So then they were just like, "Hey, give me all the money." Yes. What money? Like you don't carry any money when you deliver pizzas. You take money from other people. Well, he had his money, so they took. But okay, <laughs> I don't feel like that would work nowadays, right? Because oh, I, people get arrested for that shit all the time. Well, but I have a credit card. Like, if I if I was delivering pizza and they were like, "Give me all your money," and I'm like, "Do we want to go to an ATM so I can take out <laughs> the hundred and fifty dollars that I have because I literally deliver pizzas for a living?" Or like, what? Uh, I guess you probably have some. You may in the past have had some cash. Like from the pizza deliveries, from the tips. Yeah. Uh, but like even that is like, I made thirty dollars tonight in tips. Take the thirty dollars. <laughs> I don't. Oh shit. Uh, my life is not worth twenty dollars. Wait, what is this? Does this give give the guy a pizza? I think it's the guy. Who okay. Wants the, uh, it's, uh, it's a walking uh, customer. Uh, 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 uh. Let's put this that over like there. Slapping beans. I don't all give over a fuck. Again. No, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Here, set. Yeah, perfect, 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 perfect. So what you get is a walk in. I'm piloting a mech here, bro. I don't have time to make your pizza. I think it's very impressive that they would they would want a giant robot. Oh, the cheese bot. Yeah, so they are cheese bot minions. The cheese bot minions are attacking. Okay. Uh, well, what's that? Is that the mushrooms? Oh yeah. shit! I only got one more. I only got the uh, mushrooms. the tomatoes. Uh, put another, it in the there, thing. There's another walk-in back there. I'm not doing it. It takes too long. I still think it's very brave to try to, to to wave down a giant robot for a pizza. Hey man! Hey! Hey Gundam! Hey you! I want a pizza! Hey, I want a pizza! Get over here, yo! I know you could crush oh, me in shit. like five seconds. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> ain't right, you guys! <laughs> who's who's gonna fuck with the pizza bot today, huh? Huh? Jesus <laughs> assholes! Where's my um? Keep an eye out for that tomato. What was that in on top of that building over there? Uh, I didn't see Wait, which building you're uh, I saw a little. Little there red. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Boom. Boom. Starring George Clooney. You got that. Uh, you know what I watched last night? What? Chopping Mall. Chopping Mall? Hell yeah. Uh, I haven't seen that in a while. Uh, yeah. Well, Did you hear they want to remake it without all the things that make it Chopping Mall? What, like the boobs? Uh, no, the robots. <laughs> oh. Wait, why would you have Chopping Mall without the robots? That's what I said. That doesn't make any sense. That I haven't heard anything about it since. Uh... No, I, it turns out that the guy that made that movie, like, he said, like, I got into the movie industry for, like, the the money or for the booze and the tits, I believe was exactly what he said. That's kind of amazing. He also said, I never saw a special effect that was more effective than, like, bare breasts. <laughs> like, the guy that, was, he was a real class a direct act. quote? <laughs> yes, yes. And, like, it turns out that, like, later on in his career, 
he started making like erotic parodies of horror movies. So he made like the Bear Wench Project and like. Oh my God. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah. This guy, like, I don't remember his name, uh, but you should go look up his IMDb because like he made so many movies. Like he eventually started making like family movies in the in the um, the early aughts. I'm looking this up now. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. But yeah, Chopping Mall. Yeah, it totally holds up. Um, uh, or, I don't know, I don't think I'd actually ever seen Chopping Mall before last night, so uh, it w just wasn't a thing on my radar. I was like, you know what? Have I not seen the cinematic classic Chopping Mall? <laughs> I should probably take a minute, and an hour and 16 minutes out of my day and figure out uh, how to watch that. So, oh, how, how uh, did you watch it? A uh, Shutter. It's on Shutter. Uh, oh, okay. Which, you know, I got Amazon Prime. It's like another, like, five dollars or something to get access to shutter oh okay uh there we go maximum delivery man i got so much money in this fucking mech i probably won't even i'll probably not even uh have enough money enough money to fix this town and still have some left over motherfuckers all right so get get some wait where am i going Let's see. Uh, uh. Yeah, get some. Yeah, this city's all fucked, but for in the name of pizza, I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh, shit. It's all for a good cause. I'm almost out of energy. I'm almost out of energy. Got to deliver one more pizza. Oh, God. 50 seconds. Oh, no. It's on the other side of this forest. Can I get some more energy? Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. Oh, but I'm almost out of time. Motherfucker, once these uh, tanks and shit started, it became a lot more difficult. Oh, is this one's got, like... Stars and shit above it. Okay, one of the last movies he's made is literally called Legend of the Naked Ghosts. That sounds about right. That and then another one called Star Scared Topless. Uh huh. Yep. Uh, Shark Kansas's Woman Prison Massacre. Yep. And A Doggone Christmas. Yep. <laughs> he's he's like all over the place. Like he he talked about how he like made a lot of those like Showtime like erotic thriller movies. Uh, because he could churn one out in 12 days. <laughs> God, he made a lot of them, too. Holy no, shit. Yeah, he made, this guy made a shitload of... But what's his name? Well, you shouldn't be talking about him this whole time without talking Jim about his name. Jim Wynarsik? Wynarski? I don't know. I'm not looking at him. I think delivering it's, Wynar it's Wynarski. Give me some pizza in this place! Either way, this motherfucker is, is schizophrenic. He's, he's prolific. <laughs> he is prolific. Pleasure Spa. Uh-huh. Piranha, yep. piranha Conda. Yep, Piranha Conda. Lusty Coeds versus Lusty Cheerleaders. Yep, yep, yep. Busty Cannibal Coeds. Spiders. Uh huh. Cannibal Spiders. Yeah. Dino Croc versus Super Gator. Oh shit! The mayor's down in the polls. Is that because of us? The hills have thighs. The hills have thighs. <laughs> that was one of the like the Bear Wench style. Uh, Fire from Below, starring Kevin Sorbo. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I mean, the Devil Wears Nada. Barbara Crampton <laughs> was in uh, Chopping Mall. Uh, house on Hooter Hill. Yep, the house on Hooter Hill, obviously. The Da Vinci Coed. That's a pretty good uh -huh, title. Uh-huh, yep, yep. Bear Wench, the final chapter. Yep, there you go. <laughs> you can't just make one Bear Wench project. Crash Landing. Yeah, there's a lot of weird shit. Alabama Jones and the Busty Crusade. Uh, yep, Alabama <laughs> Jones and the Busty Crusade. That's true. It's oh. very true. Yeah. Well, oh, all, the, all these and more. The guy was incredibly prolific. Uh, sure, let's use that word. Uh, uh. Yeah, that's, uh, fuck. <laughs> There's a lot of them on here. Yep. I mean, Chopping Mall in and of itself is, like, a lot of gratuitous nudity in it uh, for a movie about a bunch of kids getting uh, killed by mall robots. That's, that's I did it! it the best. You got an extra 10 seconds. Yeah! And I got $3,800. Shit, yeah, Two, I think you're about to die. One, zero! I did it! Yeah, you were about to die there, Bam! Too. <laughs> bam! Oh, shit! I was supposed to go all the way up to 4,750. How else are you going to pay for all the damages? I don't know. Um, you don't. That's the trick question. Yeah. <laughs> you give them pizzas, and they it, like it. It reminds me of Chopping Ball, where they were... <laughs> the kids were... They were really... Okay, craft a special pizza for the easygoing Ross Roberts. Oh. Wait. Ross Roberts is probably a poor name. It sounds like it. Where they were, like, in that movie, they were like... Oh man, we're gonna spend the rest of our life paying off all the damage that we've done to this mall while the robots were trying to murder us <laughs> for being in the mall after hours. And it's like, yo, no, no, the mall's gonna pay you a billion dollars each. Like, it'd be like that episode of um, Invader Zim with the crazy uh, mall security dude. Yeah. Uh oh. What do we got here? Oh, oh shit, it's Ross it's Roberts! <laughs> Ultra Pizza, 
the happy little accident when you're around when I'm hungry. Oh, they literally just moved his name around. I just yep, that. yep. Uh, you know me. I'm not too fussy. Make whatever you feel today. Just use the crust as your canvas. Yeah, add some soft cheese mountains or gentle mushroom clouds. I'm going to put some nice, nice uh, cascading white puffy powder. Yep. <laughs> you know what I... Oh, shit. The pizza bought 9,000. Where's this guy been? Where did this motherfucker come from? Yeah. Um... Oh, we have to find the uh, ultra ingredients, and then Jesus. we have a supplier that drops them off and the wind up in weird places. Oh, so that's how they end up in, like, random-ass places. Find three of the five ultra ingredients. Okay, so we have to to deliver and try to find three out of the five ultra ingredients at the same time. I'm pretty sure, though, that's the porn version of Bob Ross, though. It has to be. <laughs> you know what I wonder is how many people, like, okay, I know how I saw Bob Ross. I saw him on PBS as a kid when he was making the show and it was new every week. Yeah. Like, how do other people watch? Is it just to just watch them on YouTube? Well, for me, it was, uh, they would still show it on PBS every now and then. Oh, okay. But okay. then for a lot of people now, it's because they started streaming them on st on Twitch. Right. I guess it's, it's like one of those chicken and the egg things where I'm like, yeah, but okay, if you're just seeing it on Twitch, how do you even know who the fuck Bob Ross is in the Before first place? Point? Yeah, like, or is it just a meme now? Is it a... Th is it like there's a picture that I feel like I've seen online a few times of a, like a, a girl who's wearing like a, a a Nirvana shirt and she's like, who the hell is Kurt Cobain or something like that? Yeah, there's uh, a lot of that, actually. Uh, is it like one of those things where you've heard of Bob Ross or that there's enough like Bob Ross jokes in the world that... Um, For some people, that is kind of where it is now, to be honest. Yeah, because uh, I remember... Um, I probably knew half the lines out of Casablanca before I ever saw Casablanca. Oh, I've still have never seen Casablanca all, uh, the way, all the way through, at least. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, it's great. It's so good. Like, yeah, oh, shit. I know, like, so many lines. Pizza there. time! What's he do? What's happening? He's he's fisting the he's future? He's punching pizza to the, to the guy? To Bob, Ro to Ross, Bob, Ro Ro uh, Roberts. Yeah, that's exactly what he did. Boss Roberts. Ross Roberts, place the cheese in the topping placement. Top notch cheese of color. Try to use your favorite titanium white mozzarella. Ew. Uh, <laughs> sounds kind of weird. Yeah. Sorry, Jack, you threw that cheese bot ruckus. What ruckus? Did we just. Yeah, I don't think you dealt with it. Oh. You really beat the devil out of those little monsters. Sure, we did. You think Cheeseborg is coming back? We'll see pockets of cheese bots periodically, but if Cheeseborg returns, we'll be ready. He's clearly the final boss. <laughs> yes. Uh, Him and his evil band i uh i hear you have a deal for free unlimited paint back at your garage we trade pizza for paint with a supplier uh okay oh, i see because you're the robot gets damaged constantly right 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 uh okay i don't know what are we thinking about this it's um kind of a mixed bag yeah i, I feel love like the premise a lot yeah but the execution feels a little a little repetitive cheesy. <laughs> or at least it's a little repetitive for me. Partner oh, no, with a star wall builder to develop the burbs. Okay. Sure, let's go with that. What do we got? Like repetitive is fine if, if it if it feels fun and it feels like it's moving well. Yeah. But from the looks of it, there's there's something off about it. Uh it, it almost seems like it's trying a little too hard. <laughs> yeah, like I love I love the idea of it and I love all the weird shit going on in it, but from a I, gameplay perspective, I feel like the gameplay was thought of last. Right, right, right. Or it's it's very simple. It's almost like they're trying to bolster kind of mediocre a mediocre gameplay concept with um, with a lot of kind of like fast paced memeiness and like okay jokes. Yeah, because this dude's company is literally called Totally Legit Construction. Right. And he's also like a narwhal with a gold tooth and a cigar. Yeah. Uh, I think a gold chain. And he's probably voiced by Carl, <laughs> if he actually had a voice. <laughs> oh, the police chief. Uh, strange with totally legit. <clears throat> this is a call before you take any unusual mission parameters. Let's demolish this whole subdivision. Good grief. Yada, yada. This is, uh, okay. Yeah. Also, that police chief is totally just a normal person, <laughs> not an octopus. <laughs> if you even claim that... They will arrest you. <laughs> uh, okay. So wait, are we actually... Oh, it's the mayor. 
Okay. Like, it looks like Leslie Nielsen if he got fat. I just cut straight <laughs> to the point. Really like, no, I think the city needs you to help with some remodeling efforts. Okay, so he's he's getting paid Those off. Are super down though. Yep. Uh. Okay, so in this one, instead of delivering like a shitload of pizzas, we need to fuck just up a like fuck up a part of the city rampage style. Yes, I, I, I suppose. Apparently, you know what would have made this uh, uh, more interesting, it, it, at least. I, and, and like again, I, I some people get on my case a lot of times, and I understand it for like judging a game in the first twenty minutes and being yeah. like, "Man, this game sucks." When, uh, it's possible that it might get better later, but I almost feel like this game would be better if it was from a first-person perspective, and it was a lot more kind of like ponderous, like uh, like w those Godzilla games, right? So it was like trying to maneuver around buildings or whatever. I could kind of see that. Because here it's just, it's very just like, okay, wait, what are we destroying? Uh, okay, well, here, I'll get the, get the, yeah, get, get all the times. Yeah, get as times and stuff as you could. Okay, uh... All right, fuck it. We're just going. Uh, Apparently, we're oh. just going to fuck up someplace. Give me that tomato. tomato. It also tomato. seems like this map is the same map, but just like uh, from a different perspective. Uh, well, it is just like one town, technically. Yeah. At least as far as I can tell. Like, I'm sure there's other levels in it that are a little more insane or something. Oh, oh okay. So, wait, look. I've, I'm uh, My damage, I've got a little damage thing there yeah. that, like, is going up. Um so I need to make sure to do that damage at the same time that I'm doing the pizza deliveries. Oh no, this is uh, still the exact same map, even from the same perspective. Oh, so yeah. it's just yeah, a different area. We just started at a different place. Uh, so and then while we do the deliveries, oh, so you still do deliveries? You just gotta destroy. You stuff? just gotta fuck up the town. See the see the damage meter under objectives. Yeah. Is it like every time you blow up a building or something, it ups that meter? So you just need to make sure that you just kind of um, like walk on top of that stuff. This is just weird. It's a little odd. It's a little odd. Um, like, I'd be cool if it was like a specific directive as to what to destroy, but. Also, I, I'm going to, I'd like to, like, honestly take your, your comment about the music and say that if there was like a, like a kind of a, a more, slightly more engaging soundtrack, I feel like I would be a little bit more into it. Well, the soundtrack's uh, more like a, um, it tries to be kind of 80s cartoonish. Yeah. But like, but it's it's a serious '80s cartoon song, right? Kinda, you know what I mean. I like, feel like if it would have been something that was more just like kind of jokey and fun, that well, I think I probably would have had a little bit of a better time. Well, this is what I mentioned uh, one a while back. I don't remember when we talked about this about how how good music goes a far way for some for like what, especially when I mentioned beat 'em ups. Yeah, because repetitive motions, you're more cool with it when you're having an intense like like a song that lets you feel great about doing that. Right, right, right. Something that complements it rather than <clears throat> just something kind of generic and inoffensive. Exactly. Like, um, like as I mentioned, like with the remake of, of Turtles in Time, like it didn't have any of the original songs. Yeah. And what it had sucked ass. And so they, it made the game very boring. And so it, <laughs> it has the exact same sort of thing. Yeah, I can, I can see that. Uh, uh, like this soundtrack isn't bad. It's just it would be more, it would be more for use for like an action game kind of thing. Well, I guess it's if if what I was doing on screen had a little bit more engagement, then I think that I would not care as much. It's just that the individual moment-to-moment -moment gameplay is pretty repetitive, uh, and not like in a you know in certain games you could be like just like driving the mech would feel like very good, and it's it's okay. Like it's nothing to write home about. It just it doesn't. It's nothing like truly special. Like, I feel like they have a good artist, and then they kind of used, um, you know, this is made in Unity, some stock kind of Unity. It's just an ARPG engine, right? With, yeah. um, you know, because there's nothing really that's going on here that's really very complicated. Uh, is that the cheese on top of that building? Yeah. There it is. Okay. Um, I need to make sure I blow up some more stuff. Oh, I got seven minutes on the clock. Can I? Yeah, you got plenty of time. Can I fuck these buildings up? Oh, oh okay. Apparently. But it gets me, like, very little, actually. Yeah, it only does, like, 1%. It does 1%. Which is kind of weird. Whereas those row houses, it's like I, I get a percent per each one of those. So doing this is, like, far more lucrative. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it's not exactly... Uh, and it, it kind of sucks. Um, like, I don't hate this. 
but I'm not no. exactly going to be like, oh, I'm going to go home and buy this right now. It's right, like, yeah. right. Um, it's like if you get it, you're not going to be. I feel like you won't really be disappointed in it, but yeah, I, you'll probably know what you're what you're after. You'll probably be like, eh, I think yeah. I'll play it every now and then, kind of thing. Is my is your, it would be my thought process if I own this. I guess like I, you know, I'm still trying to work my way through uh, Dead Cells and Death Gambit, and so in 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 that, it's like, yeah, I mean, this is kind Wait, of an how interesting. How much is this though? I think it's 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 between fifteen and twenty dollars. Like it's no more than twenty dollars. It's not less than fifteen. But I just you know like this week, sh the remakes of Shenmue one and two, the HD Shenmue one and two came out, uh, which I feel like I didn't really super enjoy those. But I don't have any nostalgia for them, so it's possible that if you do, that you might enjoy them more. Uh, but you know like Guacamelee two came out this week, and like I said, Dead Cells and. And, you know, Death Gambit are both still out from the previous couple weeks. Like, there's plenty of shit out right now that I feel like, uh, you know, we played, what was that game that we played last week that was the Graveyard Keeper, Graveyard Keeper or, yeah. you know, whatever that and was? There was, um, and then there was the Adventures of Dick Nolan, which uh, I thought was kind of interesting. Oh, so. yeah, the, uh, de uh, what was that game State called? of something? State, State of Mind? State of Mind, yeah, yeah. Which didn't, wasn't super great. But then, you know, you and I played that that what twisted battalion or whatever it was oh, uh, forged battalion Forged battalion that was pretty cool like i, I took a neat. look at a little bit more of that and it was interesting like there's a lot to go on it's it's one of my things about like is this game like a pox no but are there better games literally everywhere that you could be playing right now yes the answer is yes like, there are, i love the idea of this a lot like a giant robot that delivers pizzas in the strange world where the, the owner has a fucking Egon Spangler hair from the real Ghostbusters. Right. Like like you said, it's it seems to want to compensate for its gameplay with its crazy with the style. art style and yeah. everything. Which on some things can work. Yeah. But you need something to grasp on like, you know, it's a, a really, to keep going. A really good example of that is like uh uh Battleblock Theater, right? Is is Battleblock Theater I feel like is a good like kind of Mario platformer game. But, like, all that stuff, all that stamper stuff really just, like, keeps me going, right, <laughs> through, that, Absolutely. through that whole game. Um, like, it, it, it's style, like in like Castle Crashers, it's like most other beat-em-ups. Right. But it's style and all of this shit going on with it really does make it much better than other beat-em-ups. Yeah. Like, if you compared it to the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers beat-em-up that came out recently. Right. For instance, like, that one's soundtrack like, you know be, does not do it justice. You know what would be really cool is if, like, when this happens, if there was, like, a mini game where you literally had to, like, set the pizza, like, in a certain place, like, with a kind of a janky surgery simulator style yeah. of, of controller. It would be nice to just see the pizza on this robot's fucking hand. Well, there's that, too. Instead of just fisting into the... And it, even when it opens up, there's clearly not anything in it. Yeah, Which true. also bothers me. It's true. You fucking giant uh, robot pizza. <laughs> well, I, uh, we're just about out of time here, so why don't we go see what kind of, like, upgrades You just make me want to eat more, damn you. <laughs> Fuck you, giant robot. Destroy pesky cheese copters, and then... Okay, uh... So here, let's see the garage. Look, I also I don't like the fact that you else about this game, except for the game itself so far. Come back to the. Okay. Rage select colors. So you can actually make it like a Domino's pizza colored. Yeah, if you bond, want. If you wanted. Uh, hold on. Uh, maybe we'll do. I don't care. Uh, it's fine. Uh, it's, I was gonna do rage select colors, but yellow and whatever. It's fine. Uh, more yellow. There we go. Actually, yeah, that looks good. Uh, and then we got parts. So we got heads, space oh, metal. It lets you look at what it, every element made of a like. hydrable lightweight material that can only be forged. But okay, but does this just like are got these a Gundam head? Oh, so each one is like a specific reference to something else, right? Robot War Revival. Okay. Has burger <laughs> head, stealth, ninja Borg. Primal Dragon, but I, I feel like uh, there's related. a. Wait, go back to Mega Mega XL motor. Yeah. Okay, it's just a. It's just it's a big just motor. A motor. Pepper Pepperonin. Wall. Steam I think Star Wall. Steampunk. Okay, but then like, I don't think these do anything. Like they're just for like, cosmetic purposes. Well, there might be something in it somewhere, but I'm not sure. If if it is, then it's bad because it's not telling me no scarf. Normal scarf. Oh, Just so, scarf. Oh, so the it's got like that, that ninja sort of face wrap. Yeah. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. That's the fucking Destiny Gundam's thing. Hell, yeah. Let's put that shit on there. Oh, okay. I see what it is now. Uh, see the way that the... Oh, it gives you different... Oh, no. it gives you the ability. Look, it gives you the ability to unlock the laser. Right. The more you spend, the closer you get to space laser. So, like, yes, and then oh, we don't have enough for the for the last one. Yeah. But, um, but you've just basically made. I also a small Gundam. Really not a a big fan of uh, when games make you go out to the main menu to do the upgrading. Oh, it's, it's fucking Parappa the Rapper. Yep. Except he's an actual normal dog. It's Hip Hop Pound. I got two problems: hunger for pizza, triple onion. It's basically what he would look like if he was an actual dog. Yeah, it's true. His beats are pretty dope. Uh, come here because recording studio because it's quiet. There are cheese copters flying all over the place and they're noisy. Clear the skies and kill the helicopters. Slamming. Slamming. All right, I. I don't even want it. I don't want the rest of that. I, I like all these character designs a lot. <laughs> yeah. No, whoever. Like, the everything about the art in this and the song, the theme song it had. Like, there's a lot of great stuff going on here. Sure. Yeah. You know what this is? Like, if it's on sale, I'll buy it. Yeah. It's a game that you buy for $5 on one of those sales. Yeah. Five, ten max, honestly. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not being an asshole about that. It's just legitimately what I would do. It's, yeah. I mean, it's fine. It's like, I wouldn't hate. I wouldn't hate knowing what happens in the rest of this. I mean, you know, it seems like one of those. But, you know, I played. There was a game that Matt and I played that was um, uh, like Octo something. Uh, it wasn't Octo Dad, but it was like. Octopath? No, it was an Octopath Traveler. It was like you literally were a, 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 a an octopus, but you could put different things at the end of each one of their tentacles. So you could put like a cannon oh. or like like different types of things uh, at the end of each the, of the tentacles. And so. Um, uh, and all it was was go forward and go back. Like you were just rolling this giant octopus through a city, and you literally move forward or back, and you could just put different types of weapons on each one of the things. It was a very, very basic game, but it was very engaging. Like it was very clever. It was something um, like every like the beginning of every level was that the octopus would see something on TV making fun of octopuses, and then he would go. Arr! and like go to destroy whatever the town was that was doing that. It reminds me of Deer Avenger for some reason. Did you ever play Deer Avenger? No, uh, uh It was a it was a game that made fun of um like those those deer the hunting hunter games. games. Yeah. Yeah, and you would just hunt hunters. Okay. And the first one was literally like an uh, literally that. It was yeah. literally like those exact games but you were hunting people. I think I kind of remember that. The second one this. was like this first person shootery kind of thing. Yeah. Like each one was different from the other. But it was a very strange, very strange series. Uh, so they always put the these in the same general locations. Uh, I guess he's singing. What's that? With a dog, I think it's singing. Oh, I song. can't read that while I'm doing all this. Punch, kick, it's all in the mind. Yeah. Let's go with that. Oh, Makes more sense. Fucking Parappa the Rapper. <laughs> God damn it. You're just mad because you can't get past that chicken. There's so many games As out most there. People. There are so many games out there that people have a great deal of nostalgia for that I do not have a great deal of nostalgia for, and so I'm just like, this game kind of sucks. You know what's really funny is I don't have nostalgia for Parappa the Rapper. I have nostalgia for Um Jammer Lammy. For Um Jammer Lammy. Because <laughs> that was that. the one I had. Yeah. And I liked that game a lot, but um, it was also hard as shit the same way. Uh, let's see. I was looking for the rest of the ingredients to get that. Bonus. You get a lot of time once you get a lot of those clocks, though. Yeah. So I think it's kind of interesting. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of like I, I, I'm actually I'm kind of both dreading and looking forward to reading the comments as well. We're recording this. Today is the day that we put out the Shenmue, and uh, I didn't care for it. Like I, I only know one guy who actually played Shenmue when it actually came out. Like I can imagine Literally. why people would have liked it when it came out. But I kind of had the same problem with um, Ocarina of Time, where it's like, I, I understand why this is important to gaming, but I don't want to play it now. Now it's janky. Like, it's like now it would be a bad game if you put it out now. So, 
and like the yeah, the cause... story isn't exactly like the greatest thing I've ever. My father was killed. I must find revenge. And then like I don't know. And then did you, you do like a forklift for a while? Well, did you play the first game? Uh, did you play him? I had one friend like who owned it. Yeah. And I played it for like a little bit, and I was like, this is kind of okay. So the first, like, I like the idea that you have to earn your money, but I don't like the idea of. I'm gonna try to avenge my father, but I really have to do this work, this forklift job, real quick. Well, the <laughs> the thing that I had a problem with was that the game was like, I uh, must avenge my father, and it was like, now for an hour, I'm gonna go like back and forth asking people. And they're gonna be like, don't talk to me. Miss Reynolds is the one who knows where the men in black were. And then you go talk to her, and she's like, I think you should go to the flower shop and talk to to Jenny. And you go to the flower shop, Jenny's like, I did see men in black, but you know who you should really go talk to is the guy at the, the this one place. Oh, it's a Chinese immigrant. You should go talk to these people. And it was just it was just going to a place and talking to a person about who to talk to next for like one hour. And I'm, I'm not saying that the game has to start out like God of War or anything, but I'm like, it was an hour, y'all. Like it was a full hour, and I really only tertiarily cared about the kid's dad getting killed because you literally forget about the kid's dad after a while. I didn't know like the, when I, I when I did play it. It was like yeah, it was uh, at one point you're just like I gotta go to my job, and it's like I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to avenge my father, please. The thing that we started this game to do, uh, I don't know. So I firmly, I I, I, I firmly suspect that there's gonna be a rousing amount of of hate. Of uh, just like, dude, you can't judge a game in the first hour. You, you, you know the mission is just to destroy the helicopter stuff. Yep, right? sure do. So you're just you're making just money, money. making right. some money. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted to be sure of because you like passed so many of them. Oh yeah, no, I know, I know, I know how many helicopters I've destroyed and how many are left. I'm just making some <laughs> money, 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 money. Whee! Money. <laughs> I mean, it's just running back and forth on the same map over and over again. Yeah, this is kind of lame that it is the same map. I'm sure there are other maps down the line, people. Well, I think I'm not going to give a shit for that. This is where we're going to end this, uh, because this after is still this... still technically the first chapter. Right, so. is that this should be the last... You know what? I'll just deliver this pizza, and then we'll see if we get to the next chapter. There'll be another map. But again, it's like it's going to be another map that is similar to what we're doing right now, so... Or, yeah, or we'll may to... maybe, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe know. it's in an ice jungle, or a sand forest, or something, or the uh, robot... Chicago. I also uh, don't hate when there is only like one map of something. It just has to do something interesting first. Right. Like No More Heroes is a great example of that. It's it's all the same Where map. Where are those helicopters now? And you're just murdering. There we things. go. <laughs> it's one. One more. And, even, and also the same thing about doing jobs. It has to have some fun to it. Because also No More Heroes, you can mow people's lawns, but there's fun to that. Right. Or But in fucking Shenmue, you're literally driving a forklift to just do like menial shit in the most unfun impossible controls. Now uh, now ever. I'll say that by the time this comes out Shimu 2 will also have come out. Shimu 2 does a way better job. It starts out and it's like here's where you go. Here's a fight. Here's a mini game. Here's, you know, this ch uh, uh, quick time event. Chase you know, chase this person down. And it's like, okay, so we just got into it a lot faster. Whereas Shenmue 1, also, for some reason, they don't have any of the audio from the original game. Really? So the audio just sounds like, I mean, the dialogue sounds like straight up garbage. Like, like I could put it into a into SoundForge and run an EQ on it, make it sound better than it sounds. That's so, unfortunate. Yeah, it's weird. Anyway. There's Anywho. a lot of memes that come out of that game, though. Yeah. Let's see what... The second mission looks like, and then we'll also unlock, go unlock the like turbo dash or whatever it is. Um, Are you talking about the laser? Yeah, the I guess the, the chest, chest laser. Why would we need the chest laser? We already have the turbo dash. Wait, can I go to somebody else? Oh, oh, so oh, there oh are you spent so these are the other money. These oh. are the other areas. Happy Heights. There's a this is a weird looking map. I like that one, the cheese, the crater. cheese crater. Got a great name. Does that mean we can just get it ten thousand dollars and then unlock the last level? Maybe actually. Um, so Crash I Coast, really like this theme song. Save the environment with superhero VIP Planet Man. Okay, I Captain, have to see this. Ca Captain Planet. <laughs> Captain Planet, this. right? It's Captain Planet. I hope it's Captain Planet. Yep, Captain oh Planet. It, it looks like if <laughs> it looks like Captain Planet fused with MacGyver. <laughs> I need a pizza made of elemental earth, wind, fire, and of course heart. Heart. Okay. I always think of VG Cats when it has that kid literally holding a heart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> heart. Yeah. <laughs> the air pollution, energy consumption, not to mention noise pollution. I can hardly hear the seagulls. 
How can we do our part? First, too many seaside properties are high-powered air conditioning. Let's wait until the people are evacuated and then get rid of those buildings. You know, just smash stuff. I'm not sure we should cap the planet. <laughs> he's like, fuck yeah. It's like Captain that, Planet. It's like that Don Cheadle Captain Planet sketch. Or also the uh, the robot chicken, Ted Ted Turner. Yeah. Is it Ted Turner? I think so. Yeah. Where he's like Captain Planet. He's just like, you better save the environment or I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> uh, Captain Planet. <laughs> All right. So this has been Pizza Titan Ultra. I'm a little bummed out. I kind of expected more from this today. Oh, well. Honestly, it's not... I actually still like it. Yeah. I'm sure like but like when it goes on sale, I'll get it then, but Meh. right now I'm not rushing out to get it. Meh. I'm rushing out to get a pizza probably after this. Oh, but look, that's different. It's one of these. We Okay. So we got to damage uh and we got to destroy So we got to destroy condos. Condos. Is it just condos or were regular houses? Let's see. I don't know. Nope. It was just destroy everything. In yep. Destroy everything. Get on this thing. Uh, and we also have to blow up tanks. Like I said, there's a lot of great stuff in this. Like, even, hell, even the, the idea of this Cla Captain Planet mission is Captain Planet literally just going, I want you to fuck up buildings. And you're like, cool, Captain Planet. Yep. I love you. And, like, that's literally what's happening right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Somewhat. It, it's like okay. Said, there's a lot of great stuff in here. It's just overall, it's like I probably won't get this right away. I'll probably buy this when it's on sale, maybe. And that's a maybe. I, I, the Spider-Man comes out next month, so... Yeah, uh, I just... I mean, you know, like, okay. I have priorities, people. Maybe <laughs> maybe just save your money, and uh, you've probably seen enough by watching this to know what's going on. Yeah, if you, uh, if you don't like, want it from watching us play it now, then you're not going to want it. Yeah, And I'm yeah. looking at it, I'm, um, I'm on the fence, but, like, like the, the, the style makes me want to... makes me want to play this to the end more than anything. Yeah. And that's honestly the only real thing I could say about that. Um, yeah. Like, I could see myself having fun with this. Actually, hell, if you just play it with a podcast in here, I'm sure you'll be able to get through it pretty easily. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I got a, I got a real low tolerance for, for mediocreness these days. That's fair, and, though. And this so one, many great games. Yeah. Though, I that, mean, even like, that were announced recently. And yeah, Spider-Man comes out pretty soon. Yeah, like God of, God of War God New of War, Game Plus is out at, great. at this point. Like, uh, you know, there's just there's a lot of games out there that you can See, be playing. See, this is a little more exciting. How did you, how did it zoom in? Did it just zoom in on itself? It just zoomed in on its own. I don't, I don't know, know it that. what it did. Um, I don't really. Can I? Did I do that? I have no idea. Uh, all right. I have no idea how it did this and how you were how you get it to not do this. <laughs> yeah, because I would really rather it not be. Is it the D pad? No, something. Zoom out. All right. Anyway, hey, everybody, thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button. If you like to see these videos today earlier, you can head on over to RageSelect.com. YouTube is shitty about showing you the videos that you are literally subscribed to because I don't know. Like, it's just we got to do. Oh, okay. Uh, Stepped on a stale, apparently. Um, because apparently you hitting the subscribe button doesn't mean that you actually want to watch stuff. Or if you skip, like, one video, then they're just like, oh, I guess you're not into that anymore. Yeah, hit the bell because that'll send notifications. Uh, oh, no, you got to hit it twice. You have, to hit you, it twice? Gotta, you have to hit it twice now. Like, there's the sometimes bell, and then there's the all the time bell. And even the all the time bell, I don't feel like, does it all the time. So yeah, I'm not sure anymore. We'll uh, just check your feed every now and then. Go to RageSelect.com. <laughs> I post them there every day. Every day. Right around between 4 and 5 p.m. every day posting the shit over there also send pizza uh that'd be cool <laughs> don't send pizza last time i ate pizza i got violently ill um where did you get that pizza from matt frank brought it over here from oh, where i don't know some pizza place oh that doesn't sound promising it's supposed to be a good one anyway patreon.com forward slash rage sites where you can go if you want to help us out kick us some bucks so that we can buy pizza titan ultra so that you don't have to so that you can uh did i not okay uh <laughs> I think you Just lost. Do, do, yeah. I think you died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't have the power. That's my life bar, apparently. Anyway, um, yes, patreon.com. Kick us some bucks. We'll kick you bonus videos and return a shitload of them. If you want to see like 100 videos or 100 games that are better than Pizza Titan Ultra. It would take you like a year to get through them. Oh, the yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. That's how many Patreon videos there are, there are on there. too many Patreon videos. Um, yes. Also, we got some Amazon links. I don't know if they'll be on this one because. Um, I don't think there's a way to buy it off of Amazon. Well, maybe. I don't know. Sometimes you can buy a code. Depends on the who made it. Uh, you can always put, like, a, an Amazon link to, like, a Gundam show or something. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. All right, we'll figure it out. There's some Amazon links on some of our, our things. If you are going to buy something off of Amazon, hey, do us a favor. Buy it off of our website. That way uh, we get some cash and you get to know you get the warm and happy feeling inside of your uh, your heart that you helped out Rachel like I kind of love how this Captain Planet is just like I'm just going to plant some trees where that destroyed building is yeah uh, anyway uh, thanks everybody for watching Michael where can people find you on the internet you can find me on oneofus.net uh, you can also find me here yeah uh, all right, join us back here tomorrow for Sequential Saturday. Matt and I are heading into the woods, into the bog, the Crookback Bog in The Witcher 3 to deal with some some potential witchy witchiness. So you're not going to want to uh, uh, miss that, especially if you've already played The Witcher and you know uh, what the fuck is happening. It's, it's really not a great thing. Is it anyway, sex on a unicorn? It, no, it is not. It is not that one part of The Witcher 3. It is a, a whole different part of The Witcher 3. Anyway, uh, thanks everybody for watching. Peace, Titan Ultra. Bye!